many people's minds used floors equal problems hello people so this is where my expertise actually comes in <laughs> rather than theory because i've sold so many used floors i've worked on so many used floors i've seen which floors don't sell and which used floors sell well so here is a guide for you these are the five essential home improvements that you must do if you want to sell your used floor remember your competition is with the new builder floors which are nice and shiny and good looking and on the other hand uh, the used floors tend to be a little bit not as nice not as upgraded in terms of even specifications like what marble what bathroom this that and the other and you know so these are the five things you must must do if you want to sell your floors and here it is so so before we start i mean you have to think with these two things these are called the guiding principles these are the principles that guide you i read in a book so the guiding principle is this i said it's a good english let me copy paste this <laughs> good so so people look at properties and go back and reevaluate the properties by recalling their experiences and the details so what does this mean like for example somebody comes to see a house and he looks at it and then he looks at five other houses and then they go back and they sit uh, in the drawing room maybe and discuss in the family and say uh yeah that property in gulmohar park was nice uh that felt okay that one was uh, that one was very very dirty the the one in say anand lok or whatever yeah so this is how the process goes and then they shortlist of course they look at if the size was big enough if the, if it had the number of bedrooms if it uh, met the criteria like the budget and what not you know but when a person is looking at builder floor he already has new floors in mind and he's comparing them both and he's just looking like uh, if i go for used how much can i save for almost the same kind of property so you want him to feel like it is almost the same kind of property anyways so also a buyer wants a place where he can see himself or herself living also he should be able to deal with those people and what not but we are basically focusing more on the apartment and how the person will feel when he uh, has seen the apartment goes back and and what does he uh, experience at that point of time all right so in many people's minds used floors equal problems they feel oh you know it's a used floor so it's old uh, i don't know if the uh, if the plumbing still works if the bathrooms still work i mean this this is all silly i mean these things don't go bad that easily and if even if they go you can always replace them the thing with used floors is you get a great deal you don't you don't pay that much and you can renovate the property if you want but you you've got to make it uh, simpler and easier for the buyers as a as a seller of this great used property you have so number 1 get rid of any actual physical problems so say if there is a problem in the house for example if there is seepage in particular bathroom kitchen any bedroom or whatever just get rid of it you should handle it fully if you're leaving this house because this house has problems i'm sorry you're giving your problems to somebody else and you know if you if you don't fix those problems you're going to get a lot less money compared to Uh, fixing them now fixing them might cost you say 1 lakh rupees 50000 rupees 20000 rupees uh the amount of money that you're going to lose while you're selling it will be 20 lakh rupees 50 lakh rupees 1 crore you know so that is the amount of difference it makes so fix any actual physical problems if there is any seepage if uh, uh you know there could be so many things maybe there is there is termite in one of the alvirias or uh, in the wardrobes or or kitchen or whatever change that stuff it is only going to cost you like a lakh or 2 or 5 lakh maybe but it's going to make so much more difference in your heart you know you're selling a bad product and believe me uh, it doesn't sell when you have those feelings or you're going to really sell it at a, at a huge loss and you don't want to do that the second is fix the facade so facade is the front elevation of the building no how the building looks from outside so the thing with builder floors is and it's a big flaw is that there are four owners and they don't maintain the exteriors because it's like everybody owns everything kind of scene where nobody owns anything and nobody takes care of anything yeah 
So what you got to do is uh, look at the facade, uh, the elevation, the front elevation of the building. And if, if the paint is gone bad, just get it repainted. Speak to other owners and even if they don't want to pay, just, just do it yourself uh, because you want to sell this property and you'll get paid well. And usually it is not very expensive. If there is a stone or tile or something missing, get it replaced. Uh, if there is some part of the wooden facade broken, put new wooden facade parts there or just polish the thing and you know, it, the polish is not so expensive and people even use flaxseed oil to do that, which is superbly cheap. You could even do that, but do something, don't, don't, uh, make sure it is not shabby. Now the next part is the common areas because the common areas is something which is uh, almost always dirty in the older buildings. So say there is a stilt area and the paint is chipping off, just get the whole stilt painted. Get the get the staircase painted. If the lift is dirty, just get it cleaned and and I mean do something about it so it looks beautiful, you know. Uh, uh, if outside the house the gates are getting rusted, just get them painted also. It is not going to cost that much. And believe me, it seems like it's a lot. And you're not going to have all of these problems in, in one building. If you have, then I mean, you got to decide. You want you want to sell it cheap. Because the, the other problem is also finding buyers for a property like that. You're not going to find buyers. So that would also be a problem. Uh, anyway, so, so you should also get the place painted and polished from inside. If the walls are now older and whatnot, it's a very simple thing. Should cost you fifty thousand to a lakh, not that much. And and try using plants because uh, plants really give life, you know. But make sure it's you're not crowding too much and the balcony doesn't get too small. So just put it on the edges or, or wherever in the house you can put some small plants. Uh, give it a green look. People miss the green look. You can have large green plants outside the windows. So the view becomes green. Just be creative with that. Remember, people are going to go back and think about it. What will their recall be? Huh, that was a clean, organized home. Yeah, it was almost similar to new. Pleasant, nice people. If you were there and you were nice to them, you offered them water, you did a little intro. They said, yeah. And they will look at the deal and they, they'll go like, okay, so the builder is asking eight crores and this one is six crores. Uh, and this is about seven, eight years old. It's not that bad, actually, you know. We save two crores on it or under half crores on it. And it's as good as new, you know. And voila, you have the deal. All right. I hope um, this video helps you. And feel free to share this video with others and let me know what you think. And if there's anything else you want me to cover or answer, do like and subscribe. Thank you.